The vast majority of national and foreign tourists who arrive at Angkor Wat Temple for the first time would question whether the water surrounding the temple is a lake or a river. The magnificent sandstone structure of the Angkor Wat Temple are already a well-known historical monument all around the world. However, despite the intricacy and the g e n o m o r e site of the temple, to be able to witness such a spectacular sight of the beauty from the outside is another unique experience. The fact. That there is a man-made shallow moat surrounding the temple, with a wide of nearly 200 m e t e r make it a very stunning scenery for all of us. Since this moat is a solid proof that proved the ancient Khmer people great architectural ability. On top of that, some people even raise the question to find out how many people. Have participated in the construction of the Angkor Wat Moot. According to the research done by different researchers and specialists, it was found that the construction of a big tunnel of approximately 1,500 meter from east to west and about 1,300 meter from north to south is not accidental. Khmer architects of the 12th century AD had carefully studied the relation in geometry, in which the ratio between the size of the building and the area of the site to be built is indispensable. Moreover, the use of sand to fill the foundation of the building in order to create this kind of monument temple is very crucial as well. In addition, the mood around the temple does not only play a role as the symbol of the ocean in Hinduism, but according to engineer, this very large ditch also served to keep the physical balance of the huge construction from crumbling under its own heavy weight, as water usually reinforces the strength of the sand. Currently. With the constant improvement and maintenance from the authority looking after the Angkor Archaeological Park, an international institution in charge of the World Heritage Site, repairing and building are being actively done all over this protected region to preserve the majestic monuments. As for the source of water in supplying the mood, there are canal that connect from s i e m r e a p Stream and canal that connect from Angkor Thom ancient city. Furthermore, rainfall during the rainy season also contribute to filling up the mood with water. That is the reason why some experts have coined a name for this old city as the City of Water. Due to its beautiful scenery of sparkling water, gentle wave created by the wind, the blanket of mist during the early morning, the sound of cicadas during the cooler evening, as well as the surrounding gigantic tree, the mood is a very attractive place for tourists, especially for those who like to take picture, to relax, to take a breath of fresh air. And to do exercises such as cycling, walking, and jogging. If we are to look closely at every corner of the mood, we can see that many people come to visit this place not only on the major national holiday or weekend, but visitors also come during the day or at sunset, almost on a daily basis. Talking about the northern and northeastern corner of the moon, in order to park our vehicle and sit down, visitor usually need to take the narrow trail through the forest on the east side of the moon, or they can enter the village that is located on the northern part of the moon. For those who prefer peaceful tranquility, they can visit the site located in the north and the northeast. 